Good morning students. Today we are here to discuss about the scenario of modern dance in Japan. The classical age of dance in Japan saw the emergence of dance under the theatre practice of Kabuki and No, the traditional theatres in Japan. The contemporary dances in Japan has not only taken in these traditional dances but also are influenced by European dances and avant-garde forms. The dancers here have taken training from the Kabuki training institutes. This is often experienced in their performances. For instance, we find Ichinohe Sachiko performed with the special nuance to slow and graceful movements and wore the traditional Heian court costume. The performance reflected the classical age of Japanese culture. Western schools opened in Japan in the late 18th century and hence classical ballets, jazz dance and modern dance was introduced. Ballet became so popular that it engulfed the young generation and so the traditional art of flower arrangement which is known as the ikabena or even tea making kept taking a back seat in learning of art in Japan. Interestingly, the Japanese by their sheer perseverance reached at the world level of the ballet scene. In 1980, the Japanese ballet dancer Horiuchi Jen topped the 1980 Prix de Lausanne ballet competition and joined the New York City Ballet. Many other Japanese dancers who became renowned for the superb technique adoption were working in many other ballet companies. The ballet competition Prix de Lausanne was held in Tokyo in 1989 which indicated the arrival of Japanese classical ballet in the international community. On the jury board was the Japanese dancer Morishita Yoko. Well after the World War II we find the practice of modern dance in Japan. Iguchi Takaya is one famous name in Japan. The Tokyo Modern Dance School and the Ozawa Hisako Modern Dance Company also upheld advanced modern dance techniques. A panoramic range of experimental work in modern dance set the stage for choreographers in Japan. Among many choreographers, Saburo Teshigawara proficiently drew to produce versatile works for his Karas company. All these existing dances filtered into the emergence of the contemporary dance idea of Japan which was very famously known as the Buto. This was a major development of the contemporary dance area of Japan. Hanayagi school produced women dancers who were performing internationally the Buto. In 1985, we find at least five proficient groups performing in the Buto festival. Plentiful offshoots of such endeavor followed. Buto is the word actually derived from the phrase Ankoku Buto, literally meaning dance of darkness. This dance may be taken as a reaction to the then social problems that Japan faced right after the World War II and escalated to finally take a shape in 1970s and 1980s. Experiments suiting the psychic and psyche of the Japanese people became the experimental focus of the famous dancer and choreographer Tatsumi Hijikata who was born in Akita in 1928. He 
His innovative ideas captured the expressions and motions familiar to the Japanese culture, this bringing in eroticism, social criticism and activist theatre ideas. He considered the moving body to be a storage area which he can transform into dance forms. Kazuko Kuni Yoshi comments on Hijikata thus, began creating his own works at the end of the 1950s, he aggressively incorporated socially taboo themes of sex and violence into his work, presenting a so-called rebellion of the human body. Breaking the control of modern reasoning and constantly creating scandals, Hijikata broke away from the control of modern logic by facing the negative side of human beings, an aspect that had not been dealt with before in contemporary dance. Hence the name Ankokubuto or Dance of Darkness. He attempted to recapture the concept of the physical body not simply as a tool to convey certain linguistic meaning, but as an entity that owns its own time and space. In other words, Hijikata felt that the physical body demanded a new expression that did not exist before on stage. He was seen as a heretic in the contemporary dance community in Japan, but went on to develop Ankokubuto at a time when a new movement was happening in the contemporary visual arts world as well. Hijikata avariciously absorbed these avagande trains in the arts world through his interactions with artists in the field of literary and visual arts. With a series of continuous performances, Shikino Tamino 27 Ban, which meant 27 nights for four seasons, presented in 1972-73, Hijikata made a breakthrough performance and established an art form that would be passed down as his own. In his piece, Hijikata redefined the concept of physical body with his view that the human body was a container of enormous memories from childhood to the moment just before one's death. Techniques such as tea bouquet, absent minded hands, in which the dancer lets their hands wander anxiously in the air with no practical purpose and gani mata, bandy legs, in which the body lowers the center of gravity, both of which were totally unheard of in the history of western dance, were gradually established as techniques specific to Hijikata's Buto. These techniques were developed mainly by women and were very powerful forms of expression for the lower body. This particular series of works by Hijikata which seemingly emphasize the geographical climate of Tohoku that is northeastern Japan were also called Tohukyu Kabuki. They were seen as an effort to rediscover the physicality of Japanese people which had been left behind in the process of modernization after the Meiji restoration. These techniques were labeled as pre-modern or super-modern and thus were regarded as a criticism to modernity. In this way, Hijikata's Tohoku Kabuki can be seen as the beginning of the postmodern dance movement in Japan. If we look back into the history of the development of dance in Japan, we observe that the practice of contemporary dance here followed the techniques imported from the western world. European techniques and American techniques were the major forms. 
The choreographers here followed these techniques blindly without contextualizing the movements. In this, the Japanese way was losing ground. It was Hijikata who challenged this type of presentations and used unusual techniques to handle such problems. He insisted on deconstructing the background of dance integration in Japan and also intervened into the anatomy of the body to understand movement at its best. He tried out his ideas on ill withering old and emaciated body thus finding a separate dimension of expression. His premise of choreography was carried on by a many well known dancers who in due course founded their own major companies which were strong in the 1980s and toured abroad. In 1960s we find a number of Japanese dancers getting influenced by American dance philosophies like minimalism and postmodernism. They initiated these trends in Japan, Moji, Atsugi and Suzushi Hanayagi, the two foremost artists were greatly influenced by minimalism. Atsugi was particularly impressed by the Judson dance theatre works where new progressive dance thoughts reflected ideas for presentation. Initially, Atsugi started with producing classics but after his acquaintance with Judson dance theatre, his choreographies changed completely. Critic Jennifer Dunning writes, in Bojin Astugi's Standing, for instance, a solo performed by the choreographer in silence, it was possible to recognize class work in the Humphrey Widman and Mars Cunningham techniques. But Mr. Atsugi used those moments not as springboards but as elements in a suit of isolated moves and gestures in which he stood, fell to the floor, walked, wheeled lyrically and rocked with little sense of personal focus. Suzuki Hanayagi worked with American Repertory Theatre in Cambridge. In an interview in the Japanese dance magazine, she commented on her work thus. My work is like a diary. My work is to observe myself and to receive outside stimulation or experiences. I compose my thoughts from these sources. When I used to live in New York, I felt a conflict in using separate ways because the people that I worked with were in different worlds. After returning to Japan, I started to study classic dance form again. This time I tried a different way to work. I like it very much. So I feel very natural when I am doing it. It resolved the conflict. I can use two worlds of dance without mixing. I don't know why I came to admire the conflict. It may be because I became dull or generous. Anyway, I become two worlds with one world. I don't criticize this in myself. The influence of German expressionism dance was brought into Japan's modern dance arena with the works of another Bhutto artist, Kazuo Ohno. Ohno was senior to both Hijikata and Atsugi. Interestingly, Ohno partnered with Hijikata in many works and the completely different styles of these two performers were merged for the productions. Ohno for a while retired from stage but at the age of 70 he again started choreographing. His first piece at that time was Admiring La Argentina, a work offered to the Spanish dancer Antonia Mors. His next choreographies were My Mother, Dead Sea. He continued his work with son Yoshito Ohna. His urge to perform brought him on stage on a wheelchair 
As a committed dancer, he continued performing even at a very advanced age and was highly revered by dancers all over the world. Students of Ohno and Hijikata, Akira Kasai, has immense contribution to the modern dance development of Japan. He initiated a new dimension to the Bhutto with his ideas and presentations in the 1960s. He was greatly inspired by Eurythmics of Germany, introduced by Rudolf Steiner. He went to Germany and stayed for seven years when he researched on Eurythmics. In 1972, his thesis, Tan Shi Ron, or the theory of angles, was well received. In Japan, at this time, Bhutto concept was associated with spiritual connection of movements surpassing the physical body and exhausting it with dance. After Kasai's return to Japan, he introduced Steiner's theories and researched to further the ideas in Japan. He found Tenshi Khan or the House of Angels in 1971. He experimented with Bhutto concept by collaborating with other new contemporary dancers and thus a unique dimension to the Japanese dance form was commenced. Kasai went for a US tour in 1996. From this time onwards, his works portrayed prominent changes. No longer was Kasai's works treated as secret cult rituals. Though this was his identity in his previous works, yet he started interacting with the world outside by collaborating with contemporary dance artists from other countries in both choreography and performance. His dance works became very simple to appreciate. He was now affirming a fresh direction for the ordinary spectators and followed the social leaning. This change was visible in his partnered work with Kuniko Kisanuki. Kisanuki was another upcoming contemporary dancer. The work was titled Yes, No, Yes, No and premiered in 1999. Yes, No, Yes, No was a dramatic pair work in which the intelligent, valiant and yet boyish movements of Kisanuki and the ceaseless, wild and exciting movement of Kasai interlaced with amazing tempo. Akira Kasai Dance Unit was founded in 2000. Here, Kisanuki, Roy Hei Kondo, Yoko Ando, Naoka Uemura and others in their 20s and 30s joined and danced with full vibrancy. Kasai displayed an immense amount of freestyle movement repertoire. The audience sat tensed through his performance and enjoyed every bit of it. The musical excerpts for the choreographies had strong beats and rhythms. The visuals were abstract pieces put to non-conventional melody. Kasai's presentations also integrated elements of street dance and hip-hop movements into his pieces. The debut of Kasan's Kafun Kakumein, Poland Revolution, as part of Theatre Trump's solo series was in 2001. Kazuko Kuni Yoshi comments on Kasan's presentation thus, in the opening Seen, the audience was astonished by his entrance wearing the full costume of the young maiden from Kyokanoko Musume Dojoji, one of the most famous kabuki dance pieces. Kasai presented the complete image of the young maiden formidably clad in the costume from Musume Jojoji at the opening of the piece then started to destroy it from inside out. Wearing the kimono and a traditional Japanese wig, Kasai danced frantically to the music of Dojoji. Swinging up the dangling kimono sleeves, fluttering the bottom of the dragging kimono, 
slovenly widening the collar, obvious of the kimono loosening and going out of shape. He danced incessantly with stunning energy and concentration, as if spreading out into all directions infinitely with his elaborate costume. The image did not invoke any semblance of the human body. He danced as if he was smashing his whole body into pieces. The story of Cain and Abel from the Old Testament was the underlying theme and used as symbol for the choreography Galaxy Plan. Produced in 2003, Kasai performed with Kim Ito. In this work, a spiritual bent is attempted by using similes ironically. For this, he not only used the body to build a frame, but also annihilate the same and creates a huge impact. Bhutto was first introduced to the international audience in the 14th Nancy International Theatre Festival in 1980. Japanese modern dance was so much influenced by the dance trends in the West that Bhutto was a minor trend in Japan. But with the Western audience giving it recognition, Bhutto became very popular. The artists who took this Japanese dance to the world were Kazuo Ono, Sankai Juku and Sebi. In 1985, Nippon Cultural Center organized the Bhutto Festival 85 in Tokyo. Thus, Bhutto, considered as one of the contemporary dancers of Japan, aroused and influenced dance and theatres in the US and the Euro. Japan's contemporary dance became known and well placed in the world of dance. This was the time when Tanz theatre of Pina Bausch and Novu dance of France and Germany made an impact in the dance area. But Bhutto remained a totally different kind of physical expression, absolutely unique and in contrast to the dances of the Western world. After the death of Hijikata, a new trend in Bhutto was observed. It was Saburo Teshigawara whose works got popularized and was referred to as post Bhutto productions. It is usually said that it gave birth to a completely new kind of dance in Japan. In 1986, he won at the Concourse the Choreographic the Bagnoloet and he became recognized as the second contemporary trained in dance from Japan. Kazuko Kuniyoshi writes, His dance was different from the mysterious, mysterious symbolism of Sankai Juku, the group that was active in Europe and the United States then, or as from the expressive Bhutto of Kazuo Ohno. It was also different from that of Daira Kudakan's erotic physicality and festive stage presence. Tashigawara's dance was highly regarded as it directly reflected the sensitive receptivity of contemporary metropolitan lives and opened up new possibilities for dance in the post Bhutto age. His company Karas is a well-known company. In its website, it stated that Tashigawara's keenly honed sculptural sensibilities and powerful sense of composition, command of space and his decisive dance movements all fuse to create a unique world that is his alone. Keen interests in music and space have led him to create site-specific works and collaboration with various types of musicians. Another important dance artist, Min Tanaka, born in 1945 in Tokyo, made a very positive impact in Japanese dance. 
His canvas of dance was a huge range of activities. From early 1970s, he utilized the movements of farming in a mountain village in rural Japan for his concept of body weather. Min Tanaka and his company has presented their works in theatres, museums, streets, fields, forests, gardens, deserts, rivers and oceans, rooftops and basements around the world. Tanaka has teamed up with famous artists from different fields. Contemporary dancers have also taken in popular culture for their choreographies, particularly the choice of the younger generations in metropolitan cities in Japan have been given importance to. These dancers have been labelled as J dance. For instance, Mikuni Yanaihara composed for Nibrol, a body which abruptly breaks and bursts after being taken through incessant anxiety. Again, Chi Ito composed for strange Kinoko dance company where a flowing physicality of cheerful juvenile girls move agilely and rapidly through daily life. Kim Ito, another renowned dance artist, investigate into a new dance statement where articulation of humour is explored between obsessive concentration of perception on stage and the reality of the form in everyday life. Ryohei Kondo working for Condors and Shigehiro Ide working for Idevian crew are together in a comical group called Uwa Rai Kei and hence are following the entertainment aspect and use mime, mimicry and humour in their dances. This often creates an absurd world which challenges elucidation. For the audience, this performance is for relaxation and enjoyment from a comic point of view. Thus we find that beginning with the influence of European dances and modern dances of America, Japan's modern dance initially followed a derived pattern. But it was with Hijikata that a stamp of Japanese culture was seen in the contemporary dance works. This was named as Buto, as I was telling you. And Buto, this form, gradually established the Japanese identity of modern and contemporary dance. Dancers came up with ideas and productions that flowered in a much involved manner. One very important contribution was made by Akira Kasai. With the arrival of productions of Karas under Saburo Teshigawara, another new vista in Japanese dance was explored. This gradual development of Japanese contemporary dance has enriched the world dance scene at large.